Hey class, so this is the my, my second video for this week and uh, what I want to do is I want to talk to you folks, tell you a little bit um, about the story of how uh, these two scripts came about, um, where they came from, just the whole process um, about how the whole spec script uh, system really came about uh, here at the school, okay? And um, I've got the story written down, so I'm not going to really rehash uh, through that. I want you folks to to read that. Uh, but what I am going to do is just kind of point out a couple things in the scripts um, and then uh, talk about the films that were made about them, because there's some interesting things that happened because of that. Um, so these were the first spec scripts that I wrote um, for this. And the reason I did this is because... I really wanted to make sure that whatever we ended up doing um, completely hit all the bases that um, both uh, Laura, who was teaching the acting class, and then I was teaching my, my the production class. The, the the two the targets that both of us wanted for our two classes that were working together. We wanted scripts that the students could actually act to, and um, something that they could really kind of sink their teeth in, and. Um, the scripts that we'd gotten from the students before were just a little too, well, they were a lot too weird. And so um, I started writing these. Uh, she saw, saw the scar above his nipple and um, uh, the body revisited. And as I mentioned uh, in the, the narrative that uh, I also wrote Helsinki 99 at this point. Um, and so those were the three that I ended up writing for this. and. Um, you could kind of say that, you know, the first time you do it, things turn out pretty well. It's been all downhill ever since. Not entirely, but, you know, it's it's been a mixed bag. And uh, we managed to write three scripts and we got three films made. So that was that was pretty cool, the process anyway. Um, on She Saw the Scar Above His Nipple, which is you know, kind of a joke. It's a terrible title for a script. And I really just put that because that's kind of the punchline of the whole movie. It just kind of unlocks the whole thing. Um, and I knew that um, we had a lot um, of actresses that needed a lot of lines and we wanted to give them something uh, to do. The thing was, um, I think I was watching a lot of Orange is the New Black, and so if a lot of the female characters in this kind of talk like inmates, that's probably why. Um, I also realized in doing this that I'm not a good dialogue writer for female characters. That's just how I am. Um, I accept this, you know, kind of like Quentin Tarantino. He, he totally sucks at it too, um, and he's okay with that. I'm okay with the fact that I'm just not good at writing parts for female characters. Um, it just not my thing, but I try, I try. Um, and that this is definitely a case of me trying, and I think I, I did okay in some cases, but um, as uh, someone once told me, my attempts at making strong female characters ends up making them act like dudes. Um, in many cases, they're just um, overly manipulative and um, very bitchy in a lot of cases because they're kind of overly masculine, masculinized. And that's, you know, I accept that. So that's this this particular script. Um, one thing I'll say about the movie that, that came out from uh, She Saw the Scar Above His Nipple is that um, when it came to casting this, there was only really one hunky guy in the whole group of actors. And the Helsinki 99 guys stole him. We did like a draft and they got the first pick. They took that dude. I tried to, take, tried to get them not to do it, but they did it anyway. And uh, he ended up being the blonde guy that ended up getting shot like, 30 times in Helsinki 99. So the only person that was left for this one was someone who was definitely not hunky. But I think the filmmakers did a really good job of faking it. Uh, and they did a, a pretty good job of it. But it, the guy that they had to use for this uh, was definitely not who you would imagine from the way the script is written. Um, so that was at least very comical in that particular respect. So moving on to... Um, let me close that real quick. Um, the body revisited, okay? Um, and one thing I, I ask uh, in the discussion, I want you folks to get into, is um, you know, this is kind of a parody or homage. Um, and there's a few different reasons for that. I can explain it later. I'm not going to do it in detail right now. But The Body Revisited is, you know, meant to invoke uh, a novella called The Body. And if you know what the body is, then you'll know the movie that was end up the, that was made from it, um, and then you'll get some of the connections going on here. Uh, but the original short story was called The Body, and that's why I'm calling my script uh, The Body Revisited. Um, 
and it, it deals with some people who are walking around in the woods and um, I'll have to say that the, the people they got for this one, whenever they cast it, um, they really kind of knock the uh, knock the ball out of the park on it, even though you wouldn't necessarily think so from some of the people that they end up casting. Um, one thing that's really important is that uh, the character of H-Bomb, when you read the script, pay very close, close attention to the way he speaks. He was meant to be possibly one of the most offensive characters ever created, and they did a really good job of this when they actually did this. Um, the character of Tyrone, who's kind of uh, the alpha male of it, um, the person they got to play that was uh, an older uh, Russian gentleman. And um, he's not the kind of person you would imagine playing that character. But then when he delivers the line, um, you know, out here, no one can hear you scream. Um, it's just chilling. I'll see if I can find a clip from that. If I can find just a shot of his eyes when he delivers that line, it's just absolutely extraordinary. This was the first, the character, the actor who played Egg in this, um, uh, John John, he's worked with me on a whole lot of other films, and uh, this was the first time I ever got a chance to see him on film, and he does a pretty good job of nailing the character of Egg, who's a very kind of fragile and addled uh, character. And um, the other thing about it uh, is that I don't have a complete version of this film because of the fact that uh, the students, my students put it up on YouTube and they happen to use a famous song as the, um, for the opening credit sequence. And uh, as you know, what YouTube will do is if you use something you're not supposed to, they'll just knock your um, audio off. And um, there's a silent version of this up there. Um, and I don't think I have another copy of it anywhere. Well, if I can find it, I'll see what I can do. I know I have clips. I just don't have the, uh, the entire film anywhere else. And the other thing um, about this that is... Uh, uh, I, I hold this because it's one of my first spec scripts that I wrote. Um, also, the director of this um, is no longer with us. He uh, he passed away a few years ago. And um, so this is, you know, I remember the script and the movie uh, go along. And, um, you know, he was um, uh, he was definitely a character. And so the, the world is a lesser place because of the fact that he's uh, not with us anymore. So... Um, you know these uh, these scripts and the the films we make from them. You know they may be very amateurish in a lot of uh, qualities. They may not um, stand up and you know necessarily be everything we want them to be. But at the same time, they're kind of a snapshot of what we're doing at that particular point in time. And uh, especially for me, you know, kind of looking back on that, I remember a lot of them fondly. Even if the films come crashing down horribly, uh, at least I remember the people who were involved in it and. Uh, you know, the fact that they were kind of working and growing uh, through these, that for me, that's a, always a good thing. Okay, so read these scripts, uh, read Scar and read um, uh, The Body Revisited, um, just to get an idea of where we really began with the whole spec script system um, and why I was the one that was writing them in the first place. Okay, and we'll have a discussion about this. I can give you more. Uh, I'll be uh, putting stuff into the discussion as well. Um, so I can give you some more of the dirt on these things too. Uh, but um, enjoy, um, and I will um, talk to you folks next week.